Welcome back. Time for sports. How much do you like rolling around in the mud? I don't think that's really my thing. Yeah, well, you have to see this, though. Some call them Ironman competitions or extreme games. Our Ronnie Duncan heard about this new sport from a trainer at the Powerhouse Gym in Southfield whose specialty is preparing these athletes for what most are calling total fitness. He joins us from there now live. And Ronnie, are you breaking a sweat yet? I am not working a sweat, but... I'm trying to keep it together here because when you look around, so many people are in shape and I'm out of shape. The trainer's name is Glenn Lott. And yes, he gives a lot of tough love when he's telling you to push this, pull that, run this, run that. But then that tough love can turn into tough mud. You hear the grunting, as in the case of Dante Ingram. And in some cases, you can see the pain. When they trust me and do this event and they succeed, the joy and jubilation and look on their faces is, is really what I signed up for. It's a total fitness way for a tough mutter competition. Me and my clients, we've done a, a, an obstacle course called Tough Mutter. We've done it almost 10, 10 times. Um, some of us have done more than one in a, in a, we've done like two in a summer. Whoa, whoa. You just said mud? I mean, that's child's play. People are playing in the mud? Not only is it 12 miles and 25 obstacles, but you're doing it in the mud, so that adds another element to it. Glenn Locke's job is to train athletes for missions of this type of insanity. For the past 20 years, this has been his calling card, and he practice what he preaches. For all the bossing around that I do with my clients, this would be the one time that I get down and dirty with them. I like a good challenge, so, you know, it's one thing to come in the gym and, you know, lift weights or run, but, you know, a lot of these obstacle courses, they're, they're meant to be a challenge. Alasha Jackson isn't new to this. She's done something very similar to a Tough mutter, and she says getting on board, up and over, can make you a better person. I, I think it's, it's you know, kind of proving to yourself that, you know, not only it's fun, but it's just proving to yourself that you can overcome these obstacles. And I think to, to some extent, you know, they're physical challenges, but I think they also kind of, you know, extend to our everyday lives too, that, you know, if you come across different obstacles in, in our real lives, like we can overcome those too. Ah, Miss Jackson with the action, we can overcome. Look, this story was so much fun to watch that I feel like I want to do a little muddy myself. Now, turning to basketball, the Detroit Pistons have signed Isaiah Stewart to an extension four years. You say, who is Isaiah Stewart? Oh, you remember that infamous night when he went after LeBron James, after LeBron James, at least he said he accidentally hit him. Well, Mr. Stewart wasn't feeling it, and the Pistons love his toughness. It reminds you of back in the day of Ricky Mahorn and the bunch, I'm talking Dennis Rodman, he signed an extension today, worth $64 million for four years. Isaiah is a mad man, but he's our man. And when he's mad, as long as he's on our team, that's what it's all about. Reporting live right here in Southfield, where there are a lot of lad, mad mutters who want to get some stuff together, and they want to get that fitness done in an extreme way. Ronnie Duncan reporting from the Powerhouse Gym in Southfield, CBS News, Detroit. Ronnie, we want to see you get dirty out there. Mm-hmm. He needs to do that mutter. You know what? I just want to get in shape. I just want to get in shape. I'm tired of being a little fat boy who does sports at CBS News Detroit. So you're not going <laughs> to come back in one of those orange crop tops? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ronnie.